T1000's stampable overlay is a polymer-modified overlay formulated for resurfacing structurally sound, non-moving concrete floors and exterior hardscapes. Manufactured for use with Butterfield color stamping tools and texture rollers to create the look of natural tile, wood, and stone. Once fully cured, T1000 creates a freeze, thaw-resistant surface suitable for pedestrian and automobile traffic. Before beginning the T1000 stampable overlay installation process, be sure to mask off all adjacent areas. Make sure to use tape that will not damage the wall surfaces. In this application, duct tape was only used under the area where base trim will be installed and blue masking tape was used elsewhere. When working with any decorative concrete product, always cast a job site mock-up prior to beginning the project. Make sure to use the proper safety gear when working with all Butterfield color products. T1000 stampable overlay must be applied to thoroughly clean, structurally sound, and non-moving concrete. Existing surfaces must be prepared by mechanically abrading the surface. Depending on the condition of the existing surface, surface preparation may include high pressure washing, grinding, scarifying, shot blasting, or sandblasting. Slick, hard-troweled floors must be roughened in contaminants such as grease, oil, paint, sealant, drywall taping compound, and mastic must be removed. Random cracks and surface defects must be prepared, but may still transfer through the cured overlay. Always create a test area using any patch compounds with T1000 stampable overlay to ensure compatibility. Once surface preparation is complete, the entire area should be cleaned using hot water. Remove all residue from the surface using a wet-dry vacuum. If residue or contaminants from the cleaning process are not removed, they will prevent the T1000 stampable overlay from bonding to the surface. The area must be completely dry before proceeding to the priming process. Shake the T1000 primer thoroughly and be sure it is mixed before use. Combine one gallon of T1000 primer with one gallon of clean water and mix well. Apply an even coat of the mixture to the prepared substrate using a paint roller or bristle brush, covering approximately 200 square feet per gallon. If the existing surface is very rough or porous, or if the initial application of primer contains bubbles or pinholes, a second application of primer at full strength is recommended. Allow the primer to dry to a tack-free surface between coats and prior to installation of the T1000 stampable overlay. To form a border or to designate between pouring areas, a bulkhead is used. Here, a bulkhead was made using quarter-inch strips of lath mounted with concrete screws to create a border. Weather stripping with adhesive can also be used and works well for creating a radius. Once the primer has dried, mixing may begin. Measure approximately four quarts of water per bag of T1000 stampable overlay. Always add water to the container first. Next, if color is to be used, add the Unimix color pack while mixing using a 600 RPM drill and a paddle or mortar mixer. When temperature or humidity affect water demand, make small adjustments to the amount of water to achieve proper working consistency. Adjusting the temperature of the water helps to speed up or slow down the set of the material. Measuring the water accurately and consistently from batch to batch is crucial. T1000 stampable overlay is available in both cement gray and cement white. Unimix color packs are designed to mix with T1000 stampable cement gray. When mixing, do not entrap air by moving the mixing drill up and down out of the material. Use a margin trowel to remove any dried material on the edges of the bucket. Mix the material for three minutes until a smooth, uniform, lump-free consistency and a streak-free color has been achieved and immediately begin placement. If the existing surface has joints, mark their current placement prior to installation. Pour the mixed T1000 stampable overlay material onto the concrete surface and use a gauge rake to distribute the product across the floor at a specific and consistent depth. The gauge rake should be set to the maximum depth of the grout line of the stamp. If textured skins are used, then a 1 quarter inch depth should be adequate to achieve the desired imprint for most textured skins. Once gauged to the proper thickness, use a pool trowel or Fresno trowel to finish the material. 
The stamping process can begin as soon as mixture has set sufficiently to achieve a clean impression, usually 20 to 60 minutes after placement. The ambient and substrate temperature will alter the start of the stamping process. Begin the stamping process by applying Butterfield Color Clear Liquid Release with a pump-up sprayer to part of the area where stamping will begin. Only apply liquid release to an area that can be stamped within 20 minutes and make sure the release is still wet before placing each stamp. Continue to spray liquid release at the area ahead of stamping as needed. Imprinting time will vary widely depending on temperature, humidity, and overlay thickness. Use a tamper when necessary, and when moving the stamps, be sure that the desired impression has been achieved. Do not use a trowel to repair mistakes and imperfections. Rather, use the texture skin and detail tools. If your job has multiple pores, be sure to allow the material to cure overnight before beginning the adjacent installation. If you must walk on the previous day's pour, be sure it is suitable for foot traffic and cover with a protective material before beginning to mix the T1000 stampable overlay to be used in next pour. A wider gauge rake is suggested for larger areas, and a Fresno trowel can speed the installation process. An edger can be used along the border if necessary. Use of the Get On It shoes are recommended when stamping with texture mats. The shoes will allow the installer to stamp earlier while evenly distributing his weight. Starting with a smaller texture skin along the border of the pore will speed up the stamping process. When stamping with textured skins, be sure not to stamp too close to the edge of the stamp, as it will draw a line along the edge of the stamp on the overlay material. When placing the texture mats, overlap the mats 6 to 8 inches. After two of the larger mats have been tampered, switch the position of the mats where they overlap, and then re-tamper along the edge on top of the mat. This will remove the edge line created when the mats were first tampered. Always rotate the stamps to minimize repetition. When picking up the skins, make sure to pick straight up and do not drag the stamp. If a line, drag mark, or hole is created, use a small texture skin to fix the area. T1000 stampable overlay is self-curing, and curing time varies with temperature and humidity. The surface can be walked on gently approximately 4 to 8 hours after placement at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Saw cutting of control joints and decorative joints in the concrete substrate should be completed within 14 hours after installation, once the surface has gained adequate strength. After all saw cuts are made, the entire area should be scrubbed with hot water and a scrub brush to loosen any remnants of clear liquid release and the saw cutting process. All residue must be rinsed and removed from the surface using a wet-dry vacuum. Any residue or contaminants not removed from the cleaning process will prevent the antiquing and sealing products from bonding to the surface. Pay special attention to the cut joints as they will hold water. Butterfield Color Permatique Antiquing Agent is used to add additional coloring to stampable overlay immediately following the cleaning process. As the excess water on the surface of the concrete is beginning to dry, mix the Permatique Antiquing Agent in a bucket. Mix one scoop of Permatique with one gallon of water and add to a sprayer. Using a second sprayer filled with clean water, begin to re-wet the surface of the clean overlay. Make sure not to puddle the water. Once the area is wet, apply the Permatique solution by soft bristle brush or sprayer. If spraying, make sure the sprayer has plenty of pressure and constantly agitate the Permatique solution by shaking. Permatique will begin to turn white temporarily as it dries to its natural coloring. If you want to thin out the application of Permatique, add additional water to the surface before it begins to dry. Large puddles should be wiped up immediately. T1000 stampable overlay can also be colored with Elements Transparent Stain or Permacast Sierra Stain. Refer to the technical data sheet of the product before installing. 
Sealer may be applied after the surface is cured for a minimum of 72 hours at 70 degrees Fahrenheit after initial installation of the overlay material. Application of ClearGuard Cure and Seal on exterior surfaces and ClearGuard H2O Wet Look Sealer on interior surfaces should be applied by sprayer or roller. Application of a sealer prior to 72 hours may weaken the surface of an overlay. Sealed surfaces may become slippery when wet and use of a non-slip additive to the sealer is recommended. On interior surfaces, use of several coats of a maintenance wax is recommended over two thin coats of H2O Wet Look Seal. Sealed surfaces will require maintenance. Read the ClearGuard Cure and Seal technical data sheet before installing product. T1000 stampable overlays should not be installed in areas subject to steel wheel traffic, strong chemicals, or periodic water immersion and hydrostatic pressure. Although this video focuses on an interior installation, T1000 stampable overlay is suitable for exterior applications, even though subject to freeze-thaw climates.